early morning in Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda. Emmanuel Ahishakije is out once again with a small group of adventurers. They're looking for mountain gorillas. Emmanuel issues final instructions. If the gorillas don't want us to join them, they can push this sound. That's the warning sound. When they put that sound, we keep insisting by saying, <coughs> just for cooling them down. The encounter comes at a premium. Each visitor pays $750 for an hour with the magnificent apes. But Emmanuel says he rarely gets any complaints afterwards. Rwanda's mountain gorillas are among the world's most endangered species. Barely 1,000 of them remain. Half of them live here, in the region straddling Rwanda, Uganda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. They live in family groups. This clan has 18 members, an impressive size. One reason for that is that they're now being tended to by veterinary surgeons. Uh, for the simple disease, the gorillas, they hit themselves. But for this, this, the serious diseases, the team of the vet, they intervene. Uh, we don't treat the gorillas outside of the forest. We treat them in the forest. What the vet do? They come here with a, a dunting gun, then they shoot a sick gorilla. After shooting, they have to make sure that other members of the group, they don't know what is going on. Then they treat the, uh, the sick one accordingly. Consequently, an increasing number of Rwanda's gorillas are surviving. Urakoze is the youngest in the family. His name means thank you. Thank you for my survival, something that isn't a given. Unfortunately, the gorillas share their habitat with the various rebel groups that infest the area, primarily in the Congo region. Time and again, the apes get caught in the crossfire between rival militias. Or they fall victim to poachers. In some areas, their meat is considered a delicacy. Many people living around the national park boost their income by selling bush meat. But that's at least been stopped in Rwanda. Nowadays, local residents here earn more by keeping gorillas alive. You know, gorilla project, uh, it's a kind of tourism project. And the tourism in this country is, a, is among the top sectors which generating much income in this country. And uh, as long as we put much effort in conserving the gorillas, we get much money. Because at the end of the year, 5% among the money collected here in the forest come back to the communities. But uh, not directly in the hands, but through different infrastructures, like uh, the water tanks, the schools, health centers, even uh, supporting the project of the local people who are generating income to them. Guerrilla conservationists now stage an annual celebration in Rwanda. Even the country's president comes to the grand event. It's a symbolic act. All the newly born gorillas are given their names. The gorillas can't attend the party themselves. After all, it is symbolic. But it also signals that the gorillas are an important task for the entire country. So that one day, little rascals like Urokoze can grow up to be big and strong. Mm-hmm.